Hey guys. All right. I don't know what it is about lack of sleep, but it brings out some fieriness. Um, all right. So it is what it is. So I'm getting, I, I try to shoot it straight when I can. Um, just hit what resonates always. And um, thank you to everyone who is subscribed, who tunes in. I love you guys so much. And I'm so proud of everybody. And you're so courageous and strong for doing this work and being on this journey. Okay, so we got out the gate we got the queen of swords here and what i'm getting is that she's like she's like armored up right now like i felt had that moment earlier because of all the stuff that's going on right now this is the kind of this i'm getting the feminine energy from this but of course it could be anybody um and i'm getting that the masculine's like like not even frustrated like kind of like a like i know like a sad puppy kind of mode um of like come on like be playful again like be be sweet and and loving again and this is funny always funny to me because you're you're in this kind of knight of cups reverse position and this king of this knight of cups and pinnacles are reversed so like this lack of stability and so it's always interesting to me because men, the masculine has such a strong influence on the feminine in so many ways. And yet, so that to me is like the big shift that happened, that has to happen is that a masculine has to realize the power that he yields and not be afraid of it. So it, it is always very interesting that it's like, I don't, I think that, that the fear is more that we're afraid of our power than it is, um, maybe afraid of hurting someone too, but, um, it's more that we're afraid of our power than it is that we actually don't feel good enough. Um, I don't want to say the wrong thing about that. Okay. Okay. So if you, if you, <laughs> It, like y'all can't, if y'all can't act right, then what you can't expect her, a woman to be like, this is how it goes, especially if it's a divine feminine and like her, she, she feels her job is to continue to hold this standard for herself and the world. Um, she's choosing that she's choosing God and her mission above everything else. And so the masculine just has to figure it out, you know, however, and that, and understand that you also have this powerful influence over her and, um, or with her, I should say over her is, is, it's not about dominating. <laughs> um, but it's like, what is she, is it, because this, this queen specifically, because she's stand she's sitting with her um, handout. So it's like, she's literally like, what are you bringing to the table? And if it's not okay, you're getting the slice. So, uh, um, <laughs> so if you're bringing like all of your sexual impulses and all of your, uh, your mania, like, um, it's, she's not, she's going to put her sword up. Like, no, that's not allowed in my energy field. Um, cause it, I still feel that we still feel the effects of it too. Oftentimes, like a Q can't always block these things. So, um, you've got to be able to be, be in that calm or that, that playful, like humorous, um, grateful, um, gratitude is like probably the biggest one always is. It just shifts everything. Um, because you're showing that you appreciate each other's presence instead of being in a victim state where you're like, bring me this thing or I have to have this thing instead of it. Um, yo, the cat's got a kill. <gasps> I think it's a lizard. Bro, that's gnarly. Hold up. Yeah. Yeah. Big lizard. That's crazy. I don't know what that means. That's our neighbor's cat. 
both of them, they're like seriously predatorial. They're always out here hunting stuff. Um, okay. Let's see if there's any symbolism that comes up from that. All right. So, um, I swear I'm in this little window and all these things happen. It's so funny. Okay. So I'm getting to that. The masculine's like, just, you're just aggravated right now. There's this in the background, the ops are in this kind of like throwing this, this, the stark magic and they don't want this, some cycle to close. Um, they're trying to keep you stuck. So you're, there's this tower again. Um, you're feeling a lack of strength, maybe from the exhaustion and a lack of stability, but you're in the, you're all, there's also this three of wands out here. Um, <laughs> it's just not stopping right now. The three of wands is out here. I'm getting a little bit of arrogance from that, but also like, like you're looking up, you're looking out, you're looking up and over the water. You're looking over the horizon. Like you're like, I'm not going to be stuck in the past anymore. Um, so if it's, if it's heavy right now, if it's thick with the warfare and I mean, I still don't know what that symbolism was with the cat. That was pretty crazy. Um, we have to just kind of like let things settle back down and then we can, we can all open our hearts again and be a little bit more kind and understanding and loving. Um, because we do need that. We need that compassion. We need to be there for each other. I, it's, it, it's, it's, it's hard because it's like, it's weird to know that we're unified by in our hearts. And yet we have such a hard time. It's so hard for us to communicate and so hard for us to support each other. And, um, in this day, it seems like in this day and age. And again, I like, obviously if you're going through warfare and, um, your needs are, you know, you're, you're all, you're also in a state of lack. Like if you don't have all of your needs being met or you're tired, it's even harder to be a safe space for somebody else or a supporting person. So, um, let's just give ourselves grace and know that this is going to, this is going to roll over and, They're giving, they're like, they're, they're like trying to pump you up about how strong you've got, how strong you've become. And they want you to be proud of that. That might be why the cat, because the cats, when they get a kill, they're always so proud. I'm not saying for you to kill anyone. <laughs> um, but it is that like, be proud, be proud of your accomplishment. <laughs> not the best analogy, but um, be proud of how far you've come and how much you've, you've, you've moved through um all right i love you guys i'll be back on later if i can okay